Welcome my friends to my cooking channel. This is Cuisinese with Chef Jacqueline. This is where you can learn to make dynamic meals using simplistic ingredients. I will introduce you to world fusion cuisines using a palette with foods from cultures such as Jamaican cuisine, English, Chinese, Italian, French, and so much more. I will guide you into creating your own personal cuisine or weight loss or just healthy eating, immune building lifestyle. You can even book one on one sessions with me. Visit cuisinese.co.uk. So let's get started. Something new, something different, something exciting is coming your way today. Enjoy. So welcome again, my friends. Today we're going to be doing Jamaican style stewed pork, stewed belly of pork. I really love the belly of the pork. And my friends over here, they absolutely love when I do this dish. I love the belly because it has a little fat, a, little, a good amount of lean and a little skin. I love the skin of the pork. And you know, there have been studies to show that when we have animal fats, it's not a bad thing anymore. They have said that pork fat is actually a good fat for us to have you can actually do the studies and I'll, I'll share the link in the comments too or, or the description you know right so remember when we're doing Jamaican style food it's the seasoning the spices the method of cooking that actually makes it so delicious all right so this is about two pounds of pork and we're going to add our seasoning ingredients so this is garlic you know i don't cook with without garlic at all so this is about two teaspoons of garlic right this is about one tablespoon of ginger you know i have a friend who said that ginger married with pork and actually ginger actually gives pork a very good flavor of course when we're doing jamaican we have to use pimento so this is about Two teaspoons of pimento or ground allspice all right the next thing I'm going to use is some black pepper which is about one teaspoon but you can put to taste for yourself and then we're going to have about one teaspoon one and a half teaspoons of salt we're going to also add some coarsely chopped onions that's about three tablespoons two to three tablespoons and then I'm going to add some thyme all right now I'm going to show you an, an easy way to get the leaves off the thyme because you know the the, the, the thyme the, these stalks they actually don't dissolve in cooking anyway I have one got in there so you just hold it and just run the fingers along the thyme strand and you get off the leaves all right for some things like the rice and peas, you can actually just use this, the, 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 the strand as it is and get it out after it's cooked. Because as I said, the strand doesn't dissolve. So you just run your finger along and you get the leaves off. All right. That's an easy way to get the thyme leaves off the thyme strand. Because as I said, it doesn't dissolve at all. all. Right. Or you can simply just chop it because usually I like all the stems and the leaves and everything because... You know, even the stems are very flavorful and pungent, you know. So if you want, you can actually chop the whole thyme bit, all right? So there we have about one teaspoon of thyme. And so we're just going to work in our ingredients, our seasoning, into our pork. And we're going to leave it to marinade, marinate for about two hours, the minimum. But as I said, you know what I do is that when I go to the supermarket for the week, I just come home and I actually just put all the things that I want to get done for the week. I just, you know, actually thaw the meat if they're frozen, right? But most of these, like these are kind of just chilled and I just do what I need to do for the week. 
so I can just take out all I need for the rest of the week. So maybe you have one designated day when you have time, whether it be a Friday or a Saturday, and you go and you get your 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 meats and then you, you season them up for the week. All right. So there goes our belly of pork in marinade in marinade i get those words confused you know right ready to do our jamaican style stewed pork so the next thing that we're going to be doing is we need to try to remove as much of the little seasonings and grains of the meat because we're going to be browning the meat so you actually have to scrape these off we can't get the black the black pepper salt or pimento off but the onions and the thyme and the garlic we need to get as much of it of the meat and as I said because we're going to be browning the meat and if we allow those to get in for the sear they will burn so let's just continue to work on getting all the little bits of seasoning of the meat so now we're actually ready to brown the meat I'm using Mr. Dutchy, Dutchy as usual I brought Mr. Dutchy all the way from Jamaica because you can't do Jamaican cuisine if you don't have a Dutch pot you need a Dutch pot it actually keeps the heat and the way I've treated mine and uh, and, and aged mine it has it, it just has a particular flavor to it you know so I have there I, I heated it first because you know you need to heat your pot properly first then I added the coconut oil because that's what I like to use for authentic Jamaican cuisine. But remember to get the right brand of coconut oil. That is the authentic coconut oil. All right. And so I'm just going to be adding the pieces of meat one at a time. don't think it can have any more meat in it right now so we may have to do two sets because after we brown the meat then we're actually going to take it out remove the excess oil and then we put our stock and the the, 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 the marinade ingredients the marinade ingredients back in and slow cook it until it's done all right so we're actually browning our pork Right. And we're actually going to check to see one side if it's done at all. No, it's not brown yet. I'll actually come back and show you. I can't find a firing that's good for the electric cooker. I see only firings that are good for the gas hub. Right, because my dutchie moves around a lot and that's not really so good. So I tried to order a firing on Amazon, but I just sent them a, a question asking if the, the, the one that they say is for cookers and gas hubs, if I can use it on the electric, right? So I'll just show you when the meat has browned. The next clip will be when the meat has browned. So now a few of the bits and pieces have started to brown. I've turned them over. Some people like to add like soy sauce or browning. I like to keep the meat as natural as possible. So I just like to use the, 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 the brown color, the natural brown color from searing the meat, from browning the meat for my dish. Okay, because this process of browning and searing actually adds flavor to the dish. All right. So there we go. I'm going to turn them over and, 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 and then we'll check the other side to see if they're browned. We're going to get them a little bit darker though. I'll show you just before I add the stock and the seasoning, right? That we had for the marinade, all right? But um, as I said, this is to add, the, this process is adding not only color, but flavor to the dish. So there goes our meat, browned. Some pieces need to be browned some more, but that's basically what it looks like. And so what I'm going to do now is actually take them out of the pot remove the oil that excess oil because you don't want to consume all that oil the oil that's frothy that's how real coconut oil looks all right 
but I'm going to remove all the oil and then we're going to just put in the seasoning that were the, the things that we used in the marinade and we're going to use putting it putting in be putting in one cup of chicken stock right whatever stock you want to use if you're using pork you can use pork stock but as I said it's better to cook with stock than just water all right so there we go don't clean the pot because that thing at the bottom of the pot the drippings from the meat that has kind of started to cross the bottom of the pot right is a very good thing for gravy so don't clean out the pot just get out the excess oil that's all you need to do and then you add the seasoning and the flavor the seasoning that was used in the marinade and the broth all right so there goes our pork that has been browned and I actually wanted you to see what it looks like inside of the pot you see those drippings have caramelized and the crusting in the bottom of the pot don't remove that that's that's invaluable in making a good gravy for your meat anything you're cooking make sure it doesn't burn though because it doesn't have a pleasant flavor when it's burned right so there goes our pan drippings lovely for making gravy and our pork is nicely brown some pieces need a little more browning so I'm gonna just take some out and, and let those other ones brown but there goes our pork in browning the, in, that, have, that has been browned and the pan drippings in the bottom of the pot so now we're simply going to add the stock and re-season the pot I actually have the marinade ingredients here and I have one cup of stock right and so we're going to just combine them together and we're going to add them to the pot so we're adding more flavor to the dish all right so we're now adding our stock and our seasoning we're going to give it a good stir and then we're going to leave it to slow cook for say about 30 minutes to one hour depends on the type of cut you got where you bought it from but you know I, I, you should know when it's cooked when you prick it and it's tender then it's actually done remember that you've got to cover your pot so it steams away and don't do it on such a high temperature do it on medium okay so now we're ready for our unveiling our pork or belly pork has been simmering for about 35 minutes so I'm just gonna check it to see if it's see the color is really nice Wow nice color and it's done right almost done so now we're going to do something else that's unusual that most people don't do but we're going to add a little more stock if you notice it has the the sauce has reduced right down it's a, it's thick enough but we want to re-season the meat right we want to add more seasoning so we're going to add a little more stock that's about quarter cup of stock and we're going to add some more onion some thyme right and something that most Jamaicans use all the time the green onions um, the green onions or the scallion we call it and most people would have seasoned it with that but I don't usually do that so I'm gonna add a hot pepper one hot pepper I'm out of scotch bonnet some thyme some more chopped onions the scallion or green onions and we're just gonna stir that in and we're gonna allow that to simmer for say another about five to ten minutes all right And this time we're going to put it on high because we want the liquid to actually reduce and for it to form a nice rich thick gravy nice rich thick and flavorful gravy with our Jamaican stewed pork there goes our stewed pork again bubbling away and we'll be having it in about five minutes but I actually added one more ingredient because I tasted it and it was really a little bit too high um, 
So I added one teaspoon of coconut sugar. You can use brown sugar if you want. And so it will really tone down and balance the ingredients together, okay? It really does make a nice flavoring when you add a little bit of brown sugar. Some people may use the brown sugar to do the browning. They actually put it on this in, in the seasoning and brown it and it actually gives it a caramelized, a really nice brown caramelized color and flavor. But I've added a tip of brown sugar, coconut sugar, not brown sugar, but you can add brown sugar if you choose. So there we go. Our pork is actually thickened. The gravy is thickened. It's tender. It's soft. It's well flavored. I'm actually going to give you a shot of it while it's in the pot. Right? But if you see how the bubbles are settling down, you can see the actual thickness of the gravy. I didn't need to add any thickeners or cornstarch, but sometimes you may use that. But I actually just made the liquid reduce because I turned up the the heat on high in the last five minutes and so the liquid has evaporated and the sauce has thickened and this should be absolutely delicious here is the shot close-up of what it looks like the sauce is thickened the seasonings have been cooked and the pork is tender and juicy enjoy it i'm going to do pre two presentations i'm going to actually show you how we would have it with some jamaican rice and peas or i'm going to do a keto option at the end which is low carb and high in protein and i'm sure you can use one of those options when you're serving your stewed pork so enjoy your jamaican stewed pork